Today we'll be coding our scratch project to draw the Fibonacci spiral, also known as the golden spiral. The Fibonacci sequence is a pattern of numbers where each new number is a sum of the previous two numbers. Examples of the Fibonacci sequence can be found in nature, such as flowers, pine cones, and tree branches. To begin, we want to create an array or list of the first 11 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. We do this because it allows us to create data sets that can easily be called upon and used. In any Scratch project, it's good practice to begin by defining the variables that you'll be using. Our first variable is the number of Fibonacci squares that we will draw. This variable stores the length of our Fibonacci numbers list. Our second variable is our counter, which will store the number of times that we draw a square. The third variable is our enlargement factor. Feel free to customize these settings and the names of the variables to make them whatever makes the most sense to you. Next, we want to set the default settings for our pen tool and the location of our sprite. When we write programs using code, often we find ourselves writing the same lines over and over again. Luckily, we can create something called a function or block, where we can write our repetitive code in one place and call upon it in our code when we need it. The block that we're going to create is going to draw a square. Create a new block and name it something along the lines of square. Because a square has four equal sides with 90 degree right angles, we can tell our pen to draw just that. The block for move number of text will appear the size of each square. Now it's time to finish writing the code. We have defined our variables and created a function that draws a square. Let's put all this to use. We want to draw a square for every number in our Fibonacci sequence list. To do this, we'll want to create a loop or repeat that will repeat the length of our list. In our loop, we will set our pen down to draw, then call upon the draw square function and as our input, we will multiply our factor by the position of our counter in the Fibonacci number list. Afterwards, we want to lift our pen up. If we push the green flag right now to execute our code, we would draw a square in the same position 11 times. Let's send the sprite to a new position after each square is drawn. Notice that we are moving the sprite the same length as the sides on our squares. The final step in our project is to increase our counter by one. Doing this tells our loop to proceed to the next position in the Fibonacci sequence, drawing larger squares each time.
What would happen if we added more Fibonacci numbers to our list? What examples of Fibonacci spirals can you find in nature? What improvements could you make to our project? We can't wait to see your brilliant projects.